Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another product review with me. Today I'm going to be reviewing the number five Curious Elixir. Um, if you check my older YouTube channels, you see I've already done numbers one through four. This is the new one they just came out with. Curious number five. It is a booze-free craft cocktail from the company's name is Curious Elixirs. <clears throat> Um, if you remember, when I first got interested in these, uh, my wife was pregnant, she couldn't have alcohol, so I wanted to get her something, um, that wasn't just gonna be, like, soda or juice, that would be, like, a special drink that she could have. And that's one thing that this, uh, company, um, advertises for, um, pregnant women, people who have, uh, issues with alcohol or just don't want, like the taste of alcohol but want to feel special when they're drinking cocktails just like anyone else. Um, and number five, this one is supposed to be in the realm of a uh, old fashioned or a Manhattan. Um, ingredients are filtered water, dark cherry, orange, elderberry, lemon juice concentrate, coconut sugar, extracts of cacao, which is chocolate, shatavari, American oak, chicory, ginger, Spoke flavor, cayenne, sea salt. And a lot of these flavors are denoted as organic. Uh, all of them, so it's not completely organic, but a lot of them are. So there you go. Curious number five. It's supposed to have like a cherry chocolatey flavor to it. Let's go ahead and open it. This is a twist top. This beverage, they do recommend a large cube of ice. I don't have cubes, but I have a pretty big chunk of ice. That discoloration water on the bottom, what they recommend is a orange peel for this. I didn't have any oranges on hand, so I did have uh, an orange bitter. So I put a few, like a splash of orange bitters in there. I know bitters have some alcohol in it, so this is not going to be a completely alcohol free beverage. However, a single splash of bitters is not going to make this an alcoholic beverage. I'm going to take a little sip of it before I put it in here because I want to taste it full strength. It does smell very woody, oaky. Mmm, very strong. It tastes like a... It tastes like, um, sweetened liquid smoke with also some fresh wood flavor to it. So like a burnt wood, a fresh wood. There's like a dark cherry as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pour me myself a drink. Oh, that is a deep red color. It's like a red brown. Look how like it's almost like bloody red. It's also got like it was also pretty thick. This one is probably the, the boldest, thickest of the curious ones I've had. And I've had them all. Oh yeah, the orange does give it like just like a hint of brightness to it. That is tasty. For a, for a craft cocktail with no alcohol in it. Oh, there's some spice in it, too. I think that's that cayenne. As you're drinking it, it leaves a little bit of heat just in the back of your throat. Now, if you go to the Curious website, you'll see that they have all five available, plus a cocktail club, which will send you different ones per month. Now, the number five is actually their most expensive that they come out with so far. Uh, usually the smallest you can get this is four bottles of this size, which have two cocktails each. And those go for $35. But the number five is $45. It's the only one with that increased price. And they say that's because there's more ingredients in here, there's more premium ingredients in here. They spent more time with this one. And I gotta say that I can taste it. You can see it, just like how thick that is comparatively thick, not like it's syrup or anything. It's 
well. You can taste dark cherry. You can taste like this woody flavor, which they have chicory in here, American oak. You can taste those woodinesses. There's like some fresh wood and some like smoky wood. The, there's um, coconut sugar in here, which is the only like added sugar in here. And uh, it's definitely gives it a, a sweetness. What's that? Like syrupy sweet. This also says that it can build immunity because of the el elderberry. Shatavari. To balance and build immunity. I don't know what sh Shatavari is. Maybe I should have looked at that before. Let's see. Shatavari. Um, it's a species of asparagus throughout India and Himalayas. Interesting, interesting. Asparagus racemosus, also known as Shatavari. A species of asparagus common throughout India and the Himalayas. It doesn't look like asparagus though, it looks like a flowery plant. Um, uses is a traditional medicine. Um, so used in cases of ulcers and indigestion, uh, various uses, reproductive, hormonal issues for women. Um, studies of its effect on lactation have shown mixed results. Uh, its safety it has not been well studied. Okay, that's not great. Small trials have found no adverse effect on mothers and their babies. Uh, the key pharmacologic constituents of Stradivari are steroidal saponins, mucilage, and alkaloids. Okay. So it's one of those things that they just say is good for you, but there's no real studies of what it's good for. Um, but it hasn't caused problems, so I think I'm safe. It's good. It's tasty. And I've liked the other ones before. I think the previous one that was my favorite was the number one. So it's taken them this long to actually make something, in my opinion, that I like better. I really like the cayenne kick at the end. Because you don't taste it at all until you're done. And then it just leaves like this like bit of stingy heat at the back of your throat. Um, if you are in the market for a alcohol-free cocktail, for whatever reason, I highly recommend this brand, Curious Elixirs. They have five varieties now. They usually come out with a new one. It seems like every six months to a year there's a new one. Uh, I have to say, yeah, because my youngest son has just turned three. And they've had five since then. They've only had the one at the very beginning. But this one is really good. The number five, I highly recommend it. It is definitely my favorite out of all of them so far. And I'm going to give this a nine and a half out of ten because it's really it's delicious. Everything that's in the ingredients, you taste it. It's not overly sweet. The spice is just a hint of spice at the end. Uh, the cherry, the chocolatey woody smokiness it's all there i like it a lot and i recommend it to you that's something here too anyway i hope you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel visit the curious uh elixirs instagram or facebook and tell them that you're interested now because you saw me do it here on youtube for you anyway hope to see you guys in the next video which i'm going to do directly after i finish this one it's not going to come out directly after. Anyway, we'll see you later. Bye.